Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode on the Mindful SMP server. Crunky here, we're now on episode 11 of this multiplayer adventure and we're chilling out at Kenny's cafe because it's raining outside and I felt I'd take some comfort in this cafe being here. But since we have an episode to go, I did want to step down here first. So in my last episode I took out the uh, ocean monument that we found. Only problem is I didn't have Depth Strider. I made a request to Kenny and he came through. Unfortunately, I wasn't patient enough to wait for that request to get filled. But we now have Depth Strider 3. We can put that on our boots. And those are the two diamonds that you requested for that. Also in my last episode, you may have recalled that I was talking about a battle royale that was going on. And it did occur over the weekend. And yeah, let's just hop over there and see how this thing started. Welcome everybody to the Minecraft Battlegrounds game that we've uh, come up with really, really last minute. Um, special shout out to Crunky over there. He uh, helped me set up the loot tables, which is how this game is possible. So you open up a chest, the loot is randomized with all sorts of cool stuff like guns and you'll, you'll see. I don't want to spoil it. But anyways, to introduce everybody, um, we'll just go in a circle starting with uh, Justin over there. Hey, I'm Justin. Hello, I'm James the Douglas. I forgot my own name. Uh, okay, my name's James. Look up and read it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm Creeper Mask. I am totally not a serial killer, so don't judge. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna he try. touches people. <laughs> 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 yes, I'm also a serial toucher. I, I, I need to Okay, escape. okay, okay. Uh, hey, it's Kenny. My name is Mark or Mr. Cool. I'm the 22 Scoops, and my computer keeps freezing, so hopefully it doesn't. <laughs> I'm Crunky. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to not cough. I'm I'm sick. Sick. This guy that we have to introduce to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the sick guy. Who are you? <laughs> yeah, that guy. <laughs> Alright, and I'm Kahulo. Okay, you guys ready? Yep. Yes. Yeah. So there, will be a grace, there will be a grace period of like, uh, like two minutes. Uh, no, a minute. A minute. All right. right. Um, and I will Trust. say right now that there's cars down there. The chest right next to the car has a key that you will need. Um, there are snipers hidden in tactical places. And is there anything else I'm forgetting? Don't die while flying with the Elytra, so don't yes, go that, that will diving be straight annoying. down. <laughs> don't dive straight okay. down. It's very All right, safe so when pick you're a spot for totally where you want to jump. Down. All right, here. Let's, uh, let's all, get into, let's oh, all yeah. get into separate oh, chats. I'll say, right now, I'll say right now that you don't want to go too far into the mountains because there's not really anything built past that, so try to stay in like the battle area. You'll right. see. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's hop in different okay. calls and then. Yep. Okay. Okay. We're now on top of Chimpy's base. Kind of somewhere. I don't think you can see it because of the clouds, but we are at Chimpy's base. And there's a new development right there. We're going to head down there in a bit, but in case you uh, weren't sure from that last video, we ran a FPS version of, or a FPS mod on mindful and we had a all out PVP battle. It was 2v2v2v2v2, so five teams of two people. We had guns and we went out and we attacked each other. I uh, I won't tell you how I did because I have a video prepared, so let's just go ahead and jump to that. Oh, I found a car. Um, I'm sure oh, that's cool. What? I'm sure that's cool. All right. Uh, there's no key to this car. We forgot to put a chest here. I'm guessing Grace would be off by now. Yeah, he said it was off. All uh, right, it does have a key. I got a car. All right. I'm gonna try to kill Kulo. I don't know if the car is really 
all that good. Yeah, I'm actually gonna. I'm gonna ditch the car. It doesn't seem that that good yeah, in this. It's kind of slow. Yeah, and the turning radius is not all that good. Uh, found some more mags. Hopefully, I can reload my guns. All right, there we go. I now right. have a loaded AUG. I'm dead. Oh, damn it. GG. So we have a new member on board the Mindful Crew, and that is Lautner. I, I'm sure I slaughtered your name, but Lautner looks right. Welcome to Mindful SMP, Lautner. And this is the fine estab establishment you've got going here. But uh, back to our PvP session. And by the way, apparently the server thinks that we started new again and it needs to teach me how to play Minecraft. It's been telling me how to get wood and all that, how to open my inventory. So if you see those notifications up in the top right, yeah, go ahead and ignore that. But uh, yeah, so as you saw in the video, I didn't do so great. We, uh, we were the first people to die. And I, I know they did a second session, but uh, one of the guests that we had couldn't make it to the second session, and I also had somewhere to go, so just to make even teams of two, I decided I would hop out and let them do their thing. Because obviously I wasn't that great at it anyways. But yeah, it is what it is. But the winner of that, it was actually Chimpy. Chimpy and Kulo were a team, and you know... At the end, it was a really well thought out strategy that eventually got them to win. So let's jump to that video now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, smart. Oh my. Oh. Oh, nice. Wow. <laughs> We've made it back to our base. And I think we're ready to get started with some water clearing. I got some more sand in here so that we can start segmenting this area over here into more manageable pieces because we don't have that many sponges. So I want to make this as easy as possible. I'm going to be making a lot of trips back to dry out my sponges, but you know, that's what we got to deal with. We only have half a stack. And yeah, I think this kind of calls for a time lapse. What do you guys think? I can already hear the music, so let's get started. Crunky here from the future. So I've already recorded my episode. I'm now in post editing and I went to go work on the, uh, the time lapse, the one that you just saw, except only half of, well, apparently my recorded files for that second part of the time lapse are corrupt. And so I don't have them. So unfortunately, you're only going to be able to see half of my time lapse, which is a shame because the second half was much more impressive. But what can you do? Computers, they're, they're weird things. Always something important like this. Eh, oh, well, back to the episode. We've made it. 
we've cleared out the entire area. And I gotta say, I think this is the first time I've actually cleared out a large body of water that wasn't a ocean monument. So I'm proud of myself. I really am. Uh, one thing I didn't think about was how I was gonna get back up to my middle area, but this piece of sand is bothering me, so yeah. I suppose it's not that far, so we can just drop some sand and make our way up like so. And really the only reason we need to get up here is to well, drop our sand into the boxes like so. For some reason I feel like I should have more sand, but you know, no bother. And yeah, we're just gonna throw the rest of our things in here. We don't need the sponges anymore. And yeah, things are looking good. We do need to actually clear up all of this. It needs to all be flat. And I believe that layer right there, or that over there, is the lowest that we need to go. Maybe one lower. I'm, I don't remember exactly. Um, I mean, my design itself isn't actually finalized, so things could change. But yeah, I, I we we did good. That was a lot of water. And I think we did it in pretty good time. So a funny thing about this project, I needed sponges. I made the request to stock. I needed depth strider boots. I made the request to Kenny. And they both came through, but I was too impatient to wait for that. And I just did it on my own. Like I got the sponges from the ocean monument. I did it without Oh, what is that? So we have a skeleton horse over there. I know that Justin was looking for one. If I recall correctly, these don't despawn. I wish I had a name tag just in case, because I know Justin L was looking for a skeleton horse. Actually, give me one second. So I spoke with Justin L and apparently him and Kenny had already gone out and found some skeleton horses. So he didn't need my skeleton horse over here, which is a good thing because it had already despawned. I didn't know if they despawned or not, despawned or not. And I did a little research into it and apparently they will despawn if they're not triggered within 15 minutes. Being triggered meaning if you don't walk up to it and within 10 blocks and the four horsemen spawn. Yeah, if you don't do that, they do despawn within 15 minutes. But he has his horses, so it's not an issue. But yeah, like I was saying, um, so I asked Stock for sponges. He came through. I mean, I didn't need to get the sponges at that point, but he did come through. Kenny did come through with the Death Strider boots, but I had already cleared the Ocean Monument, so there wasn't really a need for that. I think I did still pick up the... Yeah, so I did pick up the boots, or the book, rather. So, much thanks to them. Even though I didn't end up needing it, they did come through when I was in need. So, yeah, huge shout out to them. But yeah, we, we got this place finished, or not finished. We have cleared out all the water from our base. And this is a, a big part of our project. There are some things that I wanna work on on the inside. There are some things I want to work on on the outside. And I haven't really decided what I'm going to do next. Do I want to clear out all of this and then start working on the inside? Or do I want to leave this for now and start working on the outside? Decisions, decisions. I, I can't make a decision right now. But, you know, today's episode was pretty good. I mean, we did a focus mostly on the battle royale that we did and then the clearing of this water. And uh, I think I forgot to mention it in the beginning. Um, during the Battle Royale, my partner was 22 scoops. And he actually did great. Like, I think other than himself dying and one other person dying, one or two other people dying, scoops killed everyone. Like, literally, he was the only person. I, I do believe that Chimpy... And Scoops were the only two people with kills. So, I mean, it was impressive. I was 
it was great to have him on my team, even though I couldn't really assist at all. I mean, like you saw, I, I died within like a minute of it starting, something like that. But yeah, congratulations to Chimpy for winning the first battle royale. Congrats, congratulations to Scoop for coming in second, although he was solo from pretty much the get-go. And yeah, that was that. And congratulations to me for clearing out of this water. I never thought I'd get this finished, but it is finished. Anyways, I'm going to make a decision whether I want to work on the inside or the outside. And that will be the beginning of our next episode. But as for this episode, you know, I, I'm satisfied with what we got. That's a lie. I will never be satisfied with anything. But I, I am... I feel confident with this episode in the content that we repro reproduced, reproduced, we produced and yeah, I liked it. I hope you did. And if you did, you should head down there into the comment section, leave a comment, tell me what you liked about this episode and also make sure you hit that like button. Also, if you really like this episode and you haven't subscribed already, now would be the perfect time to go down there, hit that subscribe button and well subscribe if you're already a subscriber thank you so much it really means a lot to me and i hope to see you guys in the next one have a good night see ya